court meeting in what should be a very, very exciting fight. Biden is the UFC Chris Weidman é um cara que é muito duro, é um cara que é campeão, provou que é o campeão, né, que está aí como campeão, sem derrota, invicto. Eu sei que vai ser uma luta dura. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Machida era. I remember watching Lyoto when I was just getting started, and he was known as almost a guy that could have beaten him. And so I'm expecting, you know, a really tough test and a war. Weidman is the man that beat Anderson Silva, the greatest of all time, twice. Anderson Silva, since when I got into mixed martial arts, he was a guy that I was trained to beat. From the time he came into the UFC, Anderson Silva made top contenders look like they were completely outclassed in there. I just knew that I could beat him. The first day I saw him in the gym, I was like, wow, this, this guy, he's got the X factor. He had all the ingredients that I knew he'd be a champion someday. He Chris Weidman went in there with incredible confidence, with incredible poise, and proved that he is a true champion. Anderson was having fun and dancing and getting into his groove, and usually when that happens, that's the beginning of the end of the fight. That didn't happen this time. You gotta be very careful with the speed he's playing here. Oh, he I knocked him out when he was clowning around, which he does every single one of his fights, but now he actually you know, had to pay for it. The first fight was such a shocking result that I don't think there's any way that you could thought we'd have a more shocking finish the second time around. If you look at my first fight, the only thing that Anderson Silva was successful with in the entire fight was leg kicks. So every single day, every part of my day was I was picking my legs up to work on my leg checking. I wanted to make him pay for trying to kick me. Oh, I would have never have chose that way to win. It's sad to see a great like him go out that way. But after being in a cage with him on two separate occasions, I know for a fact I was the better fighter. I enjoyed being a part of his legacy, and I knew it was going to be the start of mine. If there's anybody who presents a really stiff challenge for Chris Weidman right now besides Anderson Silva, it's Leo Machida. He's going to be the faster fighter. He's very elusive, and he's got that one-punch knockout power. Boom! This fight is over. Leonardo Machida is a fantastic mixed martial arts. Great in every single aspect of the game. Oh, shot oh, shot to big trouble. He's going to go in there and give Weidman all he can handle. I'm very confident in this fight. I believe that I can anulate the game of Leonardo Machida in terms of my movement, in terms of my velocity, in terms of my game. Leonardo Machida, upon his entrance into the UFC, was unlike anything we'd ever seen before. People love Leonardo Machida. Wow! Leonardo Machida started off as a light heavyweight, captured the world title in the Ultimate Fighting Championship. He's down! He's down! It's all over! But every fight he came in, kind of the undersized light heavyweight. Since he's dropped down to middleweight, you can see it right away. The move to middleweight just allowed Leonardo Machida to do everything that he was already known to do, just a little bit better. Leoto now is evolving a lot more than what he was before. He's a lot more aggressive nowadays than he has been in the past, and he's looking for finishers. That's it! Welcome to the middleweight division! I'm fighting for five years to win this title again, and I'm now in a different category. If Leoto were able to capture this title at 185, he would go down as one of the all-time greats. It's extremely rare for a guy to win championships in two weight classes. For Machida to add his name to BJ Penn, Randy Couture, quite on top. Eu já fui campeão uma vez, então agora não está sendo diferente. Declared the winner. Obtaining the UFC belt it was a dream come true. I just know that there's a lot of guys working hard out there that want what I have, and that keeps me hungry you know, because I don't want to give it to them. Ronda is my new Chuck Liddell, man. Seriously. She will fight anybody, anywhere, anytime. She wants to stay busy. She wants to keep fighting. If you tell her she can't fight, she'll say, do I want to fight? You know, she wants to fight. I think Ronda Rousey demonstrates over and over her commitment to the sport, her commitment to competition, and her passion for fighting. She wants to get back in the octagon because she wants to compete. I don't want to just sit and hang on to the belt for as long as possible by fighting as little as possible. I want to be an active champion. It's a great opportunity to fight Ronda because, you know, she's undefeated and she's one of the top female fighters in all this. She is the belt holder.
Ronda Rousey is one of the best fighters in the world. She's a different level. She's explosive. She's dynamic. She's very driven. She works hard and she kicks ass. I need to have that big battle to keep me motivated. I have to keep winning them. Maybe one day I'll be satisfied, but that day hasn't come yet. Oh my goodness! Wow! Plants up on top. Look at this! Brody Ronda Rousey continues to amaze me! Every single fight, regardless of who it is, is still the most important fight of my life. UFC 170 was an interesting twist having Sarah McMahon, who definitely earned the shot to fight versus Ronda Rousey. A lot of people, myself included, thought Sarah McMahon might be the perfect stylistic matchup. Give Ronda Rousey trouble. And what do we see? Expecting to see this fantastic grappling affair. We see the improvements that Ronda Rousey is making in her striking as well. Good knees. And again. Oh! I'm never surprised with great successes because I expect that out of myself. Ronda Rousey wins for the first time in her MMA career, not by armbar. I feel like a different fighter every single time that I get back in there. She's adding techniques, she's adding more skills all the time, and she gets better and better every time out there. Her boxing is ready to go now. She fires with both hands, new weapons combinations, and she has a spectacular jab. She uses that jab very well. She understands it very well. We've really been able to put together all parts of the striking game, and I'm really feeling like I'm coming in my prime now. Her boxing has improved, and now you guys are going to see a different round of us. At this point, the only person who can beat Ronda Rousey is somebody who can come in with power. Alexis Davis, that's a warrior right there, ladies and gentlemen. Alexis is definitely deserving to be a challenger for the belt. I definitely feel like I'm getting a shot because I am legit. You know, I do have a 3 0 record in the UFC. Oh, goodness! What a powerful takedown! Alexis Davis has a black belt in Japanese Jiu-Jitsu and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. She's a really great grappler. She's definitely the most well-rounded fighter I've ever come up against. Big combination connects again. Alexis Davis has added a little something to her routine. I'm going to Alpha Male specifically for this fight. There really isn't too many gyms that house better fighters in the lighter weight classes than Team Alpha Male. So for her to go over there and get some looks from guys like Uriah Faber and TJ Dillashaw, that's huge for her. Well, Alexis Davis coming and preparing with wrestling with us, it's going to help a lot against uh, Ronda's judo. I think that we can instill enough wrestling into Alexis Davis that she'll be able to counter it. I think it's a huge help. My wrestling has improved a lot. My Muay Thai has improved so much. My Jiu Jitsu has improved so much now. So it kind of gives you that little extra to make myself that unstoppable fighter. There really is no progression of good choices that could really help her. She won't win. Ronda's always the, the favorite, but Alexis, she's looking really tough. There's an athlete to beat Ronda Rousey. Alexis is that athlete. I'm going to win this fight with Ronda just because I'm the better fighter. This is the matchup that's going to give Ronda the most trouble. Ronda Rousey has had her way with a lot of her opponents. A lot of people think she's unbeatable, but it only takes one mistake. Anything can happen on any given night. Oh, these women are Alexis Davis is a very, very gritty and determined fighter. She's not going to go away easy. You are not going to stop. We're going to go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, you know, taking punches. Every single time I defend this belt, everything is at stake. You can feel, like, the gold around your waist, your hand raised. That belt is mine. Alexis is the biggest problem I've ever had. I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to be put in a position where I'm going to give up. Nobody is easy until after you beat them. Um, and in July 1st, she's going to be easy.